The West Indies women are set for a six-match series versus World Powerhouse Australia, comprising of three T20 internationals and three one-day internationals. It will be a tough ask for success against the double ICC champions, and a lot will depend on how best the West Indies squad combines with the new Rising Stars inclusions. The West Indies women's tour of Australia is scheduled to begin on October 1st with a T20 international in Sydney and will feature the top two all-rounders on the ICC World Ranking in Australia's Ashley Gardner and Hayley Matthews of the West Indies. Unfortunately, the captain is the only West Indian ranked in the top 10 of all ODI categories, while the host has two all-rounders, four batters and two bowlers amongst the latest top 10s. Coupled with that daunting fact is the good news that the regional side will be touring with a contingent of the next generation of international players. The Rising Stars Quartet of Ashmini Munisar, the Jenba Joseph, Zaida James and Janila Glasgow will have their first opportunity to measure themselves against the big guns. The crucial part of the tour will commence from October 8 with the One Day Internationals which will be an opportunity to garner points as the West Indies look to improve on the ninth place ranking on the 10-team table. Gardner and Matthews also lead the rankings amongst the all-rounders in this format. But there is some top 10 company for the skipper, with teammate Stephanie Taylor sitting in 10th on the batter's table. The gelling of experience and youth will have to hit its peak in October if the West Indies women in 10th to challenge the Australians. Wayne Cunningham, TTT Sport.